Hello everybody out there in the uh, music community. This is Mike or Soldier77 here. And uh, I figured I'd show you a video of some recent uh, items gotten in the mail from Gerda Music. So let's get right to it. So what we have here is Deliverance. What a joke. We just came out in 1991 and, I, and I, got, I think I got a cassette here for this one. Which is a little heavier on me right now. And this is a gold edition disc. Which I thought was really cool. And also comes with one of those little cards. Which I thought was really cool. There you have it. And, uh, well, joke. I know a lot of people kind of, uh, diss the album from the, uh, because they think, uh, we're not as good as their other ones, like Weapons and whatnot. I think it's a pretty good album. A lot of great, a lot of great songs in this one. And it's got some cool pixie band on the inside there. And, uh, that kind of thing. And, and lyrics. But like I said, I think it's a good album. Um, and I love Crank this album, by the way. Uh, some great songs, which is favorites of mine, which I'll get from the second, is uh, Prophet EDC, uh, Pursuing Intellectual, uh, Wild Joke, um, After Forever, It's a Beat, um, and Attack. And also comes a cool uh, 2014 recording of Wild Joke as well. So there you have it. Great album. Um, I also have uh, Macedon 3, uh, which also comes with a cool card. There you have it. Great picture of an elephant there. And of course, I love, I love animals, so it's kind of neat, neat to have animals on album covers, which I thought was pretty cool. And uh, this kind of mirrors the, uh, this kind of mirrors the gatefold uh, for the record, which I'll show in a second. Uh, the inside here There you have it the elephant there um, There's the inside and here's a disc space there you have it and uh, I also have the original uh, 2014 uh, sorry 2009 frontiers version as Well, so with the book with that so there you have it Um, also, um, sometimes what I'll try to do, either if you're, new, if you're a new band or an 80s band that I didn't get or missed out on, uh, so I picked up this CD, uh, Neon Cross, and uh, from what I heard so far, it seemed to be pretty good. Neon Cross, I don't know if I call them power metal, but it's sort of in between commercial metal and power metal, it's sort of in between. Uh, they're sort of too heavy to become uh, commercial metal, but yet I'm not sure if heavy enough to become considered power metal. But I mean, when I listen to the album, kind of mind you got that Jews Priest vibe to me anyway. I'm not sure what you guys think. This is sort of sort of an, an anthology, so it's got like their um, their first album, uh, which is what this this is actually is a cover, and the original cover is, is uh, right here, and um, it's got like Heartbreaker Frontline. We are children of our Lord, that kind of thing. There's also got a California compilation, uh, I Need Your Love and Son of God, and also their demos. There you have it, Neon Cross, uh, Rizzi Commit in 88. Um, I also got a new, another album coming out in 2005 called Torn, which I don't have. I think it was the only two albums I came out with. Um, also, um, when I converted from, when, a while back there, I threw all my CDs that, or that CDs, uh, cassettes that uh, was worn out and no longer listened to. But I kept this one, Premium Cuts, uh, which has four bands under the Restless label. Rugged, rug, rugged, uh, cro rugged Records, actually. It's got like uh, Baron Cross, uh, uh, P.K. Mitchell, um, Red Sea, and Neon Cross. Now, the Neon Cross tracks on this one, which they didn't record for this CD. Uh, of course, it got 70 songs, and maybe they had no one to fit it. Is uh, one second. Is um, is let me get the songs out. Um, by my record, issue of love and in your mind. So this these as far as I know, these three songs um, did not appear in any in any albums. So this album here don't contain these songs, and I don't think Torn does. So if you guys can let me know. Uh, when you watch this video, did these three songs 
from Neon Cross appear on any other album? Or is that the only place where you can find these three songs? If that's the case, it's almost like I got 70 songs here and three songs here. So it's almost like two albums worth of music here from this band. So uh, even though even though the uh, last uh, five songs are demos of the songs on their album, on their, their de debut album. So there you have it. So if you guys let me know if these songs ever made up made on another album, let me know. There you have it. Um, but yeah, it's great to have this in my collection as well. It's got like also Baron Cross and oh yeah, I already said that. But these other songs from these other bands were actually on their albums. For some reason, Baron uh, for some reason Neon Cross wasn't on any other albums. I think so. There you have it. And uh, I got two vinyl. So I got the Blood Good Dangerous uh, Dangerous Close on vinyl from Gerda Music. So it's great to have that in my collection. Here's the lyrics there. And uh, this comes with a poster. And the poster is the same as the, uh, here's the other side of it there. And the poster is actually a, a big poster of the guys here, the same artwork. And also I got the uh, Mastodon 3M record. So now I got all three Mastodon records on, on vinyl. And of course this is a gateful, I'll show you the gateful. So, and of course Mastodon being who they are uh, with John Fonte, uh, Dion Fonte. And Dave Amato of Arrow Speedwagon, and Anthony Sally on bass, uh, did, and also I believe uh, Kerry Lifkin from Kansas, I believe, also um, contributed as well. But like, here's the gateful, and here's a here's a back there, or actually the uh, front there and the back there. Um, like I said, Madison's a great great band. I mean, their three albums are just excellent al excellent music. Um, I hope uh, hopefully someday uh, the guys can get back together. Maybe do a fourth album at some point in the future. I know John Fonte is working on a, a new solo album, so I might pick that one up. Depends on how it sounds. Uh, I heard a track on 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 on, uh, on YouTube that sounds pretty good. I think it's going to be more, more in the vein of, the, of his solo rap stuff, more mellower. But the track I heard sounds pretty good, so I may, I may end up getting that as well. And also, Greg uh, Greg um, Hayes of Gurder Music uh, forgot to send me. Uh, when he did up this order to send to me uh, Sacred War Obsessions on vinyl. So I got that coming to me too because I emailed Greg and um, and I uh, mentioned to him that I uh, didn't get it so he said he'll send it to me in the mail. And of course, uh, guys that go to music uh, like Greg and uh, Boone's Overstock and Rocks, I find to um, um, the guys takes care of you if you ever have an issue, they're always there to step up and uh, take care of you and that kind of thing. I don't mind giving these guys my support because I know that they put out quality products. Um, I, I have an order from uh, um, Brett Miller's as well that I got in the mail, uh, but I can't show that yet. I have some grails in, the, in there, some very rare items, three three or four rare items uh, that I can't divulge on yet. Um, I can't see the reason why yet, but uh, I'll, be, I'll be showing that either late January, or early February. Because this past week, those two orders came to me in the mail uh, this past week. So I'll show the uh, orders I got from Brent Miller later on. All these are classic albums and some and some uh, and CDs on CD and vinyl. I got um, six records, three CDs, and one rare collectible. Um, actually, a couple of CDs are, collect are, are, rare, are rare items as well, but this one item is a collectible. And I can't divulge on what it is yet. Like I said, I'll keep you guys posted uh, on this. As well, I got some uh, ideas for future videos as well. So um, I think they're showing uh, with this being a new year um, and people tend to show the music they got the past year. Uh, what I might do is show, um, go back three years and show all the items I got in 2018, 19, 20 on three different videos and show you the both the albums that reissued in that year and the brand new albums I got for those years. Uh, so I think that might be cool to show that as well. Anyway, folks, that's all I have for now. Have a great day. Bye now.